entire YouTube channel dedicated to helping you get better at Mortal Kombat 1 and other fighting games with over 2,000 videos all dedicated to helping you get better at them and enjoy them more. But if I had to break it down to just my top five tips and tricks to help you get better at Mortal Kombat 1, here's what I would say. You're gonna hear a lot of people talk smack on cameos in Mortal Kombat 1, but cameos are just a new thing. They're just a new gimmick that Mortal Kombat brought to their franchise for this installment. In MK11, they had a crushing blows. They had extra special moves you can give to your character and choose from them. In MKX, they had variations. You get the idea. In this version, in Mortal Kombat 1, we got cameos. They're not going anywhere. In fact, they're just gonna enhance the game and more and more and more as time goes on. So my first tip is get used to that and really learn fun cameos. I would learn multiple cameos to begin with. They offer a ton of utility. And I recommend experimenting with a couple different cameos as well for multiple reasons. First, you wanna have a really good cameo that's like your main cameo that you use. I like to use Chameleon personally. And the reason why Storm Cell, this move right here is not safe on block. But if I use that and they block it, Chameleon can get me out of it and now I'm safe. That's one reason. Chameleon Jade offers me combo extension when I need it. And Raiden has a pretty good overhead, yes, but you can interrupt that and up block it. So Chameleon Malina offers me a good overhead mix up combo extension. Raiden and many other characters benefit off of all the variations Chameleon has. She's my favorite personally, but if my opponent were to zone me out, I would definitely switch over to Sub-Zero because he makes me projectile invulnerable. The Scorpion cameo gives me a good overhead as well for mix-up game and air combo extension. Serena allows me to drain my opponent's bar. Mataro can reflect those projectiles as well. You get it. There's a lot more to cameos than just damage and combo extension. They offer really good utility to help your gameplay and of course just strengthen your character's weaknesses. Peacemaker here has like no mix up game he's got one low special and one overhead special so if you want to help those weaknesses you might be using striker for the overhead low mix-up and damage combo extension or scorpion for an overhead or frost for a low cameos are great because they allow you to play how you want to play and what you want to do with your main character i know i'm rambling a little bit but cameos are essential and they're they're essential to learn and master and again i'd recommend learning more than just one like having a back pocket cameo like sub zero so if you're zoning me out i will switch to this and be good you get it second tip here that might be weak to hear but damage isn't everything i know it's a fighting game and you want to do the most damage possible but damage is not everything you need to learn how to play optimally we have a cameo bar and we have a super meter bar you need to play accordingly and manage your resources and your damage let me show you a combo real quick Right there, instead of doing the Superman fly, we could have done three and then use Jax again. Is that optimal to get an extra 20 damage in? I argue no. I argue it's worth it to do that Superman fly move, lose your 20 damage, but still have a cameo bar ready to use, whether it be for defense or like a pressure, just something. I would argue it's more optimal to play around your resources and your damage. Optimize your damage while managing your resources effectively, and you will be the better fighter and you will win in more fights. Do I want a meter burn this move twice in a row for the sake of some damage and lose two bars? Probably not. If I have this much health left and my opponent has that much health left and I'm going to get comboed, I'm not going to use my breaker if I have all three bars. I'm going to hold my L and just have my bars for the next round. Obviously, if it's the last round, I would use the breaker, but first round in, I'm getting my butt kicked. I'm not going to waste all three bars for the sake of hoping to get a 700 damage comeback. You get it? I'm not going to do that. And I would advise that you do the same thing. Know when and how to use your cameos, when and how to use your super meter, and of course, when and how to use your breaker. You got to play smarter, not harder. There is a mechanic in Mortal Kombat 1 called up blocking. You see, we're going to be blocking here. We can hold up and that is called an up block. It is specifically made for overheads and to stop overheads in their track, essentially taking your turn back and allowing you to punish your opponent. And don't get me wrong. It is high risk, high reward for sure. Because if your opponent calls it, they can land and just throw you and do extra damage. They can go for the mix up on you because it does have recovery frames by itself. But if your opponent is going to jump in, up block it, boom, punish. Jump in, up block it, boom, punish. And that can be applied to any overhead in the game. Omni Man's overhead coming down on top of you. Smoke's low overhead mix. You can even up block Johnny Cage's strings. But again, you don't want to abuse it because you're going to get counterplayed. Again, play smarter, not harder. I know this is going to sound so redundant and you're probably not going to want to hear this, but one of the best ways that I found I can get better myself and to learn a character and how they want to play is to do the in-game character challenges. They are combo challenges, yes, but it teaches you what can go into what, what strings you might want to put into what special 
special. I main raid and I learned a couple things recently doing these combo challenges. Like, oh, I didn't know that you could put that string into that special or whatever, you get it. If you learn nothing about the character, at least you might learn some combos and that's always fun. Not only would I recommend doing these for your character, I would recommend doing all of these for every character. Not because you wanna learn how to play them, but you wanna learn the matchup. So if I did Havoc's challenges, I can go, okay, Havoc likes to do these combos or that's a good mix up there. So when I fight Havoc the next time, I got a pretty good idea of what his specials might look like and what they might go into, what's safe, what's not safe, stuff like that. It's a grind, but it's definitely worth it if you wanna get better and have that really good matchup knowledge because matchup knowledge is half the battle. And the last big tip I have for you is spacing. Spacing is a massively underutilized and underrated tool that not a lot of people actually use. And here's an example of what I mean by that. You can like walk around, yes, but as soon as you hold block, you cannot move back, you know, forward or back. And honestly, sometimes walking back is actually better than blocking. It creates that space you might want as a character to either zone out your opponent, bait them to jump in, and then you punish them. You're trying to control that space between you and your opponent. A lot of characters are really good at this, like Omni-Man and Quan Chi, Shang Tsung. But for those that don't have tools specifically made for spacing, everybody can move. Movement's a big deal in fighting games. Raiden has his forward three, four kicks here, and it is safe on block, but it's not safe if it's whiffed. And by whiff, I mean he misses the move entirely. So if you walk back like this and he misses, boom, punish, and there's nothing he can do about it. So learning when and how to block is a big deal because blocking means you can't move. And when you can't move, you're kind of a mouse stuck in a mouse trap. Having that freedom and that mobility here is great. And if your main character does not have really good mobility, well, that's where you might want to use cameos that give you that good mobility. Like Kung Lao, I guess, is a really good teleport here. So that way, if we're ever in a pinch or we want to close in on our opponent, again, control that spacing, you have a cameo that allows that. Or cameos like Scorpion give you a full screen armored reset move that puts you at full screen if you want to be like Quan Chi might want to be at full screen, put out his portals and such, and then start zoning out. Every character has an ideal space and they want to have in a fight, and it's up to you as the player to make that happen and play around that. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe here for more content. Let me know down below what tips helped you out the most and what tips you might have for a new Mortal Kombat player. And go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides and tutorials.